गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेसन दैट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज द सिस्टम बाय विच वी कैन गेट डिफरेंट थिंग्स विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अवर सर्वाइवल लाइक फूड वाटर एंड ऑक्सीजन वी ऑल नो फूड वाटर ऑक्सीजन एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अवर सर्वाइवल एंड दे नीड टू बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस of the body to another place it means transportation system or circulatory system is must so what are the organs which are related to this system first is blood this is the part of circulatory system then human heart is there the main organ pumping organ blood is the medium of the transport because it is in liquid medium so all the food water and very important things like hormones they get transported to different parts of the body through blood so blood then heart second one is your heart that is a pumping organ then we have got the blood vessels we have got the blood vessels so these all are very important parts of the circulatory system blood the transport medium or the circulatory medium then heart the pumping organ and blood vessels are the main part of the circulatory system so we will study them one by one in detail so first let's start with the blood blood is the liquid medium which transport uh, oxygen water and food then we know that blood has two parts basically the blood has got the two part one is the liquid medium that is plasma liquid medium is the plasma part and another one is the blood cells another one is the blood cells okay so blood cells are rbc then wbc and last one is our platelets these are the platelets platelets so this is the composition of human blood so blood the liquid part of the blood is called plasma and in this liquid part there are several uh, blood cells namely rbc wbc and platelets they flow plasma is the liquid part and these are the blood cells red blood cell wbc stands for white blood cells and platelets RBC is red in color because of the presence of a red pigment called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a red pigment which gives red color to the RBC. And hemoglobin carries oxygen. Oxygen is carried from the respiratory system to all the cells because in previous chapter we have learned that oxygen is must to release energy. so oxygen is carried by rbc basically because rbc contains hemoglobin and oxygen combines with hemoglobin and then only it, it is transported then what is the role of wbc wbc is called the soldier of the body it gives the immunity it is related to the defense mechanism of the body these wbcs are called soldiers because they help us to fight back the infection then platelets they are the uh, platelets are very important because they help in clotting of blood so now we will study them in detail one by one let's get started so till now we have learned that blood is the liquid medium and it is liquid because of the presence of plasma and the blood cells namely rbc wbc platelets they keep floating on this plasma now blood is red in color because of the presence of hemoglobin hemoglobin is the red pigment and the role of this red pigment which is present in rbc hemoglobin is present in rbc and this hemoglobin is very important for transport of oxygen and you know that oxygen is transported from the respiratory system to each and every cell of the body wbc we have already learned that this is the soldier of the body and it helps to fight back the germs and infections and then platelets are very important because platelets help in clotting of the blood platelets help in 
clotting of the blood now you must be wondering what is clotting of blood so the like uh, here you have uh, been given one small story sort of a or hypothetical situation like bojo fell down while playing a game and his knee got injured blood was coming out of the cut after some time he noted and he noticed that bleeding has stopped sometimes you might also have uh, noticed this that after a cut after some times it automatically gets uh, plugged or uh, the cut gets plugged because because the clot is formed and because of this clot which is formed the this gets uh, the problem gets sorted out and there is no further bleeding from from the injured part so that is because of the platelet so we know because platelets are present in the blood and they help in clotting of the blood whenever there is a cut it bleeds for some time but later on it stops bleeding because of the presence of platelets so we say what is the function of platelet platelet helps in clotting of the blood now next portion is the blood vessels another part of circulatory system is blood vessels there are three types of blood vessels arteries veins and very fine blood vessels are the capillaries capillaries they join arteries and veins for example this these are the arteries this is a branch this these are the arteries okay this is the artery artery divide and redivide into fine capillaries further this is also capillary and this is the so now this one is artery this one is vein and the blood vessel very fine blood vessel which combine arteries and veins they are called capillaries these are called capillaries so this is the relation between these three blood vessels artery they carry oxygen rich blood the blood which is rich in oxygen vein carry the blood which is rich in carbon dioxide okay so we can show them in blue color whenever the you must have noticed in book also uh, there are some blood vessels which they have shown in red color and some blood vessels which they have shown in blue color it shows that if the blood is in red color being shown obviously it is of red color only but if in picture it is shown of red color then it means it is rich in oxygen and if it is being shown Uh, of blue color it means it is rich in carbon dioxide so the point of uh, point which you can note down is arteries arteries are the blood vessel which carry blood which is rich in oxygen and veins they carry blood which is rich in carbon dioxide and what is the role of capillary then capillaries are very fine blood vessels which join arteries with the vein so they are the connecting link they are the joining link between these two blood vessels so major blood vessels are arteries and veins and capillaries they join arteries and veins together now see you must have noticed the pulse rate what is the pulse rate you can check the pulse rate whenever you suffer from fever or something like that so do, when you go to doctor they check your pulse rate and then they uh, combine all the symptoms and then they come to the conclusion so the pulse rate is uh, a resting person usually has a pulse rate of 72 to 80 beats per minute if after like you are running or doing rigorous exercise this pulse rate can vary so this is the pulse rate basically and when you check the pulse rate it is basically you are checking the throbbing throbbing movement of your arteries so you are feeling your arteries basically so that time you touch the arteries because when the blood flows in arteries it flows with the pressure but when the blood flows in veins it flows slowly because veins they are collecting in nature so later on i will tell you the difference between arteries and veins now in this picture you can see the difference between arteries and veins so and these are the capillaries which join the arteries and veins arteries are the blood vessel which carry the blood away from the heart you can remember it like this a for artery away from the heart and veins are the blood Uh, vessels which carry blood towards the heart one point of difference 
second point of difference just now i said that arteries carry blood rich in oxygen oxygen rich blood the blood which is having more of oxygen and veins carry blood which is having more of carbon dioxide so i think this is enough for today revise well thank you very much